All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take this manual 2,000 pound tongue jack and replace it with a Leopard PT2 power jack. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. On this channel, we talk about all things land and sea travel, including cruising and camping, tips and tricks, and product reviews, and also installation and modifications to help make your travel easier. And so today, we're going to get at taking apart uh, this jack, getting it out of here, and getting it ready for our new power jack to go on. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy taken off. Now, the one thing I got to preface before we do anything with this is obviously we got to get the pressure off this front jack you can use the front stabilizers I am not going to tell you to recommend that in fact I'm going to say scratch that from the record do not use your front stabilizer jacks to hold your trailer up while you've got your front jack up in the air the best thing to do is attach your truck to your trailer so you're already hooked up you're ready to go um, everything is in the air. It makes it so much easier to work with than having to put a jack or put jack stands under your frame of your trailer. Just hook it up like you were going to take off and then you've got clear workspace to uh, do what you need to do. So let's go ahead and uh, get into taking this off. All right, everybody, we've got our 2,000 pound manual jack here. It's held in here by three screws. There's no power or anything going to it. Remember, like we said, we've got it hooked up to our truck. We've got everything in the air. I've got the bottom already taken off. It is ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, pull these three screws out here real quick. Now, I am gonna let you know, you're probably asking, well, why is that so easy? Well, I hand loosened them before <laughs> I started filming so you didn't have to see me struggle. These things are tight, so uh, just keep that in mind. But we're gonna go ahead and just keep taking these things off. We have now gotten both of those screws off. We've just still got this one around the backside here. It's kind of being jammed up a little bit by this, uh, our power cord that goes to our trailer. So we're just gonna snip that um, zip tie real quick. And uh, there we go. And now we've got good access to our last uh, bolt over here. So let's get that off. Okay, now we have gotten our jack completely loosened now. Um, pretty much it's just wiggle and it's hanging in place. We took the pedestal already off the bottom. You'll want to do that because what we're going to do is we're going to pull it straight up out of here and get it out of the way. And that is easy as that. And even if you had to change this thing out, even if you wanted to put a 3,500 pound manual jack in this thing, it uh, it's as easy as that. Three screws and it is out. So let's go take a look at our brand new jack. All right, everybody. So we are here over to our box. This is our PT2 Next Generation Power Tongue Jack made by Lippert Components. It is a 3,500 pound jack, has an 18 inch throw, has LED lights, has power everything. This thing should be an awesome upgrade to the trailer. So let's go ahead and dive into the box here and see what we got. All right. So you open the box, you got some directions. Who needs those? And we got our jack here. Got your mounting mounting plate that goes on the bottom. They've hooked you up with some new screw hardware to put that in. You've also got a power, or actually not a power, you've got a manual crank in case uh, 
the power goes out on it you've got a secondary way of uh, actually uh, you know picking it back up so you're not stuck so it's uh, good to have we will keep that in our rig and then we got our bad boy 3,500 pound capacity power jack so let's uh, get the plastic off this thing and uh, go over and kind of set it in place and see uh, what all we have to do all right everybody we have gotten our jack our new power jack out of its box uh, we've got it ready to go it pretty much comes with the jack some hardware your 12 volt line and the the base for the bottom and that's pretty much it uh, so I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slip this thing in side here Make sure you hit both levels now that we've got our jack in place uh, We're going to take the hardware that they've given us and we're going to screw it down So we were just slipping off there a little bit so we are going to uh, change this from a 14 to a half it was 14 coming off these new ones here look like they're half inch and they're fitting a little bit snugger let's see if we can get this thing tightened down the rest of the way all right we got it all tightened down all into position here and I guess I was I was anticipating with this that we were gonna have to uh, run a ground wire and back feed it back into the jack but I'm thinking that it's got its own ground built into it which is nice so essentially all we got to do now is just run this uh, this red power wire all right so we are on the side of our frame right near our battery box so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wire here and we're just gonna fish it down over the back side of the frame under our propane tanks and then just run it right across this rib here and put it right onto our uh, our battery setup here now on our setup we upgraded to two 12 volt batteries so that's why we've got our two batteries there if you want to see our rv uh, first year rv modification video i'll link it up here in the card we did a couple of different uh modifications in our first year of owning it and this was uh just one of the things that uh you do down the road as you're as you're getting you know used to your trailer and you're wanting to upgrade and get some new gadgets and stuff so anyway, so we're gonna run this thing right across the frame rail here. We're gonna make sure we got it all tucked in there nice. And we're gonna go back by later and we'll zip tie it. We'll make it all pretty with the rest of the wires that are down there. Um, the one thing that was not in the kit, obviously you've got your end of your wire here. Now Lippert does say you should hook it up to a 30 amp connection. We've got a 30 amp, uh, fuse uh, right in line here so we are covered there so essentially all we got to do is uh, connect this to the battery but as you can see I've already got this ready to come off here this is our positive side of our battery we do not have um, obviously there's you know no way to make a really good connection there so you're gonna need a little hoop connector to get that on there so let's go ahead and put that on sure that's nice and tight that looks good got our nice little little crimp on there positive terminal on our battery setup here actually we're gonna take we're gonna take that extension off we'll come in all right upon further debate we're gonna use the the old fancy crescent wrench for this and we'll just, just get that off there and we're just gonna put this guy right into place right on top of everything gonna fit in there just nicely and we'll just tuck it right along with everything else seems really tight and then all we got to do is come back by here throw a little zip tie on all this setup here and then just clean up our wires and then we'll be ready to check this thing out zip tie time 
good to go. And we're gonna repeat the process along the frame here to hide the rest of the wires and make it nice and clean to the front. So now we've got our jack, we've got everything zip tied up to here. So what we need to do now is re-zip tie uh, our power line and our trailer line back up together. Uh, I'm just making us an extra long zip tie here. I'll probably down the road uh, get a longer zip tie, but for installation purposes today, we're just gonna throw this zip tie set up on here call it a day and voila we are all set to go we are essentially powered up and we're ready to go we're ready to give it a try uh, the only thing that we're missing that we'll put on here real quick is the pedestal on the bottom and then we'll be ready to fire this thing up all right everybody we are back we've got everything set up the only thing we got left to put on is this piece here. So we're going to go down here real quick and see if we can just slide that thing on nice and easy. A bit lined up here. That is it. Got our little cotter pin to go in there. Hold everything in there nice and tight. And that is it. We are primed, set to go. So our jack, as you can see, is in. Got our lights and our retract and extend. Got our LED light on the front. We got our power line. We got our power line we sent down along the frame rail. Got it all tucked in nice. Brought it back up and right into our six volt, uh, double six volt setup here. If you, uh, need some more amp hours uh, that six volt setup is uh, far superior than the one crappy battery that most of these trailers come with so uh, definitely take a look at that but we are ran and we are ready to go so moment of truth light first should light up here if we've done everything right oh snap look at that lights up and then our next button over here is going to be our extend oh snap it's working it is working not too shabby so we've got that thing working, everything looks good. Let's see if we can uh, set our tripod back up and give it a go around of actually pulling it off the trailer and seeing what that looks like. So all right, we are ready to extend this thing. We got our block set up on the bottom. Uh, we have got our lock, this thing, we had it disengaged. We have it disengaged. We have it ready to actually kick this thing up in the air. And let's see, uh, We'll see what it does. Moment of truth. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, this thing looks like it's going to be awesome. Um, I can already tell uh, pros and cons versus the other one. Uh, obviously, you're wheeling it up, but uh, it's going to go a lot faster that way. This takes a little bit slower. But it's going to be nice not to have to crank that. So I think this is going to be a great upgrade. So if you got value out of this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you're notified when we do product reviews, installs, tips, tricks with camping, cruising, all things travel. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.